All right, well, here we are. We made it to our uh, destination. Um, never heard of this place before. I just looked it up. It is in Beacon Falls, the Whitmore Trailhead in Beacon Falls. So I'm not sure if it's much of just like a, a leisurely walk or a jog, but we're gonna check it out. Like I said, we're in Beacon Falls, which is about it's about 10 to five miles south of uh, Waterbury. Yeah, it was a beautiful ride up here. I haven't yet ever been here before, so it's a first time for everything. Here we go. Whitmore Trail. All right. Are you, are you kidding me? Is there a place to park up here? That's definitely not a place to park. We got these. I read somewhere online on how to be careful with these. Let's go double check that so we don't get lost. All right, guys, I think I took a wrong turn. About two hours into walking, decided to put my shirt on my head. Luckily, I had nothing to do today, or else I'd be sprinting the last couple miles. Just to let everybody know, this was about maybe 45 minutes from my, where I live, 50 minutes or so. Um, so it wasn't that long of a trek, but it looks pretty cool. All right. Um, so welcome to Running Rant. We'll see how much running we do today. Let's get up here first. And uh, today's discussion, topic of discussion, I really want to do um, trying new things. Um, I feel like life, it was all about trying new things, whether it be food, activities, um, a sport, anything like that. Um, trying new things just kind of opens up your mind to everything. I feel like life is all, relative and trying something really puts you in the shoes of another person now trying new things i think it comes most easy it comes uh, easiest with just honestly saying yes to everything wow now there's things that you shouldn't say yes to of course you know don't get confused of peer pressure but trying new things is, you know, start off by saying yes to everything. I've been trying to do this as much as I can this year. And I think it's, I think it's uh, paid off very well. Some of the things that I've done since uh, just kind of saying yes to everything. Wow, look at this. Um, one of the things was when I was in New Zealand. Whew, when I was in New Zealand, my host mom, she was a, uh, did roller derby. If you guys don't know what that is, you should definitely check it out. Imagine, I don't know, the movie Alita is kind of like that too. But you will try and have uh, one person go around a track, small track maybe, it's, uh, it's oblong, and uh, maybe what, 30 feet? And you're trying to like, kind of race, but it's very physical. Now, my host mom in New Zealand was uh, really big into that. The culture there is pretty big. And she wanted to share her love for uh, roller derby with me. So what she ended up doing was inviting me to like the first or second session. And uh, I got geared up, put on some roller blades, and I gave it a shot. Now, I was super hesitant to give it a shot because, I don't know, I'm kind of a perfectionist. I like to look things up before doing them and making sure I'm as good as I can be. And this was out of nowhere. And I was a little hesitant, but I said yes, and I got there. I mean, I'm pretty good with my balance from skateboarding over the years, but I gave roller derby a shot and it was fantastic. Now, did I have to stick with it? Did I do it every day, even more than once? No, I didn't. However, just the short experience of giving it a shot, being around different people, you know, they really made me feel at home. And you'll find that with most things. People like sharing their hobbies with you, so try new things and you never know. Now, another thing that I tried recently that uh, just kind of fell in my lap, wasn't so much of a yes man type of situation, but what I did is I always get my hair cut at the same place. Sport clips, 
Connecticut Ave, Norwalk, Connecticut. They do a pretty good job. Nothing amazing, but it gets the job done. And having gotten a new job recently, I wanted a haircut, but they were closed the day before my job. Now, something small like that, I got a little anxious about. I didn't really want to, oh look, I, was, I didn't really want to try something new. I just wanted to do my same old, same old, but I really needed a haircut. Now, faced with this kind of dilemma, I could have either just waited and not gotten what I wanted, but the only reason I would have done that was because I needed the haircut. Or sorry, the only reason I wouldn't have gotten it done is because I felt so comfortable at the place I always go to. So I instead went to this place. I do forget the name. I should look it up, but it's in South Norwalk. And it's in Barbershop. Now, never really been to a barbershop before. This was the first time and I just felt a little bit out of place, all, all, <laughs> all things considered. Went in there and they did cash only. Didn't expect that. Um, and just kind of felt out of my element, but they made me feel as at home as possible. Gave me a handshake once I came in. It was fantastic. The haircut was great. Not only was I, would I say it's better, though I do like Jessica sport, Sports Clips. She's great. But not only was it better, I would say it was cheaper. Now, whatever reason that may be for it being cheaper, because it's not like a huge corporation, it was cheaper. And... They helped, uh, they did my beard too. So I said yes to that, gave it a shot. It's a small thing, but you know, a tree wasn't grown in a day, you gotta start small. Um, and if you're really not comfortable trying new things, something as simple as getting a haircut somewhere else. Listen, the outcome is more or less gonna be the same. They're not gonna butcher your hair. Go to like an okay place, look it up on Google. But I tried it, I liked it. I uh, went over went over to them before I head out, headed out. They were thanking me from the moment I left the chair to the second I le left and opened the door. It was a fantastic experience. And to be honest, a small situation, a small, small change like that is uh, gonna make a big impact in the end. I mean, it saved me like $10. People were nicer and it was all around a great experience. So give things a chance. Look at this, that's pretty wild. And um, kind of my third thing about saying yes and trying new things. Now, also, this one's not so much about saying yes, but more about putting yourself in a situation you're not so comfortable with, okay? Now, this one, I would say the butterfly effect really made it so uh, life has been so much different since this small decision. Whew. Blue white. Now, what that was is that in New Zealand, I, uh, when I got there, I was there for a year. I was an au pair, I was like a nanny, I was there for a year. And uh, not many friends, I didn't work for a company but instead lived with the family. So meeting new people was a little more, you have to really put yourself out there. And though I'm um, ambitious and extroverted enough to travel across the world, it's still not that easy for me to meet new people. So what I did is join some Facebook groups, did stuff like that. And I had a small group of friends, but there was this girl who really wanted to see the movie The Nun, of which I already saw. Wasn't that good of a movie, sorry. Um, she wanted to see it, and she was posting in this Facebook group of like 100 people, and nobody responded. Um, being an au pair or a nanny, I was very one of the few to be a guy. So just personally, I felt a little weird messaging just a random girl. I think it come off wrong. That I got a little anxious about as well as just asking someone to the movies. Who knows? You never know the answer. Nonetheless, I messaged her. Um, I will leave her name out, but I messaged her saying, hey, listen, I've already seen The Nun. Not that good of a movie, but uh, we're gonna go see Halloween. And uh, she ended up saying, yeah, that's amazing. And we ended up meeting up down in Wellington, New, Ze uh, New Zealand, met up and we saw the movie, I went with two friends. Fast forward a month later, one of those friends ends up going out with that girl. And uh, I still talk to that girl to this day, close to a year later. And uh, not only do I still talk to her, I've traveled all of New Zealand with her and we've shared plenty of great memories. Now, that was all made possible by simply asking, hey, you wanna see Halloween? 
Simply put, if my phone was broken that day and I couldn't, or more so, I didn't want to, then I just simply would not have had this friend that I have today. It was a simple, let me do this. I was faced with a fork in the road and I saw that I didn't really feel comfortable asking her, but if I did, that could lead to a new friend. So I did. Now, the point I want all this to make is that every day you can live it the easy route or you can live it the more difficult sometimes, but just a different route. And uh, every day can't be this outrageous one, but to say that you don't have time or any excuse that you want, listen, there's always gonna be an excuse. Maybe it's that, oh, it might rain, so I can't go, go to that walk. Uh, she might not like me. Listen, you honestly, you just don't know. Whether it be a person or trying something new, okay? And you just have to try it. Last little story, same thing with just trying new things. Because what I find works best is having a group of friends who maybe want to do new things but don't, or just don't have the ambition to do things, maybe like you, but that group thing kind of look, working together. And uh, I think that, that would honestly kind of propel it forward. Like kind of those situations where your friend's like, you won't, you won't, and you do. Um, now, some of the things that I've done, uh, like I said, you don't want to confuse trying new things and saying yes with peer pressure, okay? But there's a small level of someone pushing you to do something in a friendly manner for you to do it in the long run. Um, two things that come to mind were I, went, I jumped off this bridge, which I would have never done. Um, I'll post a video somewhere over here. And I would have never done it. Listen, I, I was like, no, the water's gonna be too cold. Uh, I didn't bring the proper clothing. Uh, 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 a thousand things. I ended up going there. My friend was gonna do it, Stefan. And uh, he was gonna do it the whole time, walking up to it. it. Took us like 20 minutes to get there. And we finally do. I was still in the no boat. I was like, nah, nah, nah. And, all right, west. And um, finally get there. And I see someone who's like six years old end up doing it. And I was literally like, you know, that's a little outrageous. Like, there's no reason for me not to. So I ended up doing it. Amazing. The water, as you can see in the video, is as blue as can possibly be. If I'm not mistaken, I think that water came from glaciers. It was cold as ice. All right. And it was just me saying yes. When I get, when I get there and it's push comes to shove, me personally, I usually will just end up doing it, all right? Um, and I definitely encourage everybody to do the same because trying something new, all right, you can say no and that moment will probably ne never be brought up again. Or you can tell yourself yes. And without, you know, from years on out, you can have that story. If I said no to jumping in, I wouldn't even be talking right now, all right? But with me having said yes, it was just that much better, a story for the ages. Wow, look at this. And I wanted this to be one of the first topics because look at where I am right now. You know, I didn't have to physically say yes to somebody else, but I was given a path in the road. Um, you know, as everybody has, you know, I could always be doing something different right now. I think most people will have work that they can do, whether it be work your job, or it could be work like, who knows, going to the bank and stuff. There's always something. Push it aside, do things like this. Now, I will be honest with you, having heard about all the sightings of black bears. Oh, that's chipmunk. Black bears around uh, kind of Connecticut. This can get a little, a little scary, but it should all be good. Also doesn't help that this looks like, spoiler alert for the Revenant, kind of looks like where he gets mauled by a bear. Wow. I feel like Owen Wilson. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's look over here. One thing I would advise to everybody is if you do any hikes like this, especially, not sure where you're listening from, but especially in a place like Connecticut, 
the ticks are insane. So you gotta check yourself right afterwards. Wow, look at this. I never even knew this existed in Connecticut. I mean, it's not far-fetched to think that this exists, but this is a really cool walk. All right. All right. So if I had to summarize everything I said into just one or two sentences, all right, it would be try new things. Think about why you're saying no, all right? If there's no good reason, all right? If you're not putting yourself in danger by saying yes or losing, you know, lots of money. If you're just saying no because you don't want to, all right? That's not an excuse. Try something new, all right? Make memories and they're not gonna make themselves. And third, think to yourself, if I say yes and this goes well, where would I be, all right? Like I said, here I am with a friend I've had forever and I've done things I would have never done if I didn't have someone push me a little bit of the way, all right? And, um, and just try, try something new. Once a week, start off small. It could be a meal, it could be an activity. Hey, it could be a video game or something that you might like, or not like rather, and give it a shot, okay? Movie, go to a play, try something different. So I hope this has been fun run for you guys. I'm gonna put the uh, camera on if I say anything cool, but I am about, who knows, halfway done. So maybe I'll get some more footage cool things along the way but thank you guys so much and um until next time guys let's do some more places see some new things try some new things all right peace Hey look, we found some frogs. Oh no! I see a clearing up there. I've been following the map loosely, but no more marking, so I think we're good. I hope. All right, let's do this. Something is telling me that we didn't make it. Hey, horsey. Horses are big. Yo, I have no idea where we made it to, but I think we're lost. I'd rather not lost, but not the right way. I think I made a wrong turn somewhere. Even though this whole thing was a loop, I don't know how I just veered right every time, but I guess I'm about an hour and a half walking away. Four and a half miles. I could do that. You know, I took precautions. I have water and a charger for my phone and everything. But this is a pretty good story. So make the most of bad situations. Run around with your shirt off on the back roads. Maybe don't do that, but enjoy yourself. We made it back. Oh, oh, I'm beat. Let's see. We have 27,000 steps, 130 beats per minute, 13 miles, 
given I probably walked at most two miles before this trip, but I just did about an 11 mile hike and I am toasted. Oh my gosh. The thought of water's never been so good. So I said before, but now that we're back home and all, thank you guys for going on the trip with me. And until next time. So I guess uh, I walked from one town to another. Thank you for visiting Nagatuck. <laughs> I'll have to say, still a smile on my face. Pretty wild uh, turn of events for today. But as I always say, you know, just go on with it. Try new things. You know, this is the necessary thing I tried, but I'm just going with the flow.